First thing we're going to do is make a bacon weave only three strips wide. So just start with three pieces like that and we'll get it all weaved together. First bacon weave is all done. Now we're going to give it a good coating, a big pop of smokers, sweet money rub. This is for the outside. Second bacon weave is all done. We're going to give it a good coating of rub. Now at this point you can use any type of spices, rubs, or anything that you love to taste. Next we're going to dice up three cloves of garlic, one small onion, and half of this green pepper. Now take one pound of ground beef. We're going to add some of this Big Papa Smoker's money rub to it. Then we're going to throw our veggies in and give it a good mix. Best way to get this all mixed together is just get your hands in there. After it's all mixed, just eyeball it, cut it in half. Take some pan, spray it on some wax paper or parchment paper. Just roll it out. We're going to make like a big long sausage here. Then take your ground beef, place it right at the edge of the bacon, make it nice and round going to both ends, and take your parchment paper and just start rolling it up. Next, take around six pieces of butcher's twine and just lightly tie it up. You don't want to squeeze it too much, so it's nice and snug just to hold it together to keep its shape. Once it's all tied up, just roll it up in your wax paper or parchment paper. Got the Weber kettle all set up for indirect cooking with hardwood sugar maple lump. To keep an eye on the temperature, we're going to be using our Maverick Ready Check, keeping it at 325 to 350 degrees. And to add a little smoke, we're going to be using some Mojo Bricks Cherry. Let's get these dynamite sticks on the grill. That one's a little bigger, so we'll put it up front. Shut the lid, we'll come back, check on them after around 20 minutes. Just a quick barbecue tip to get a chimney lit with lump real quick. Try using your side burner on your gas grill. Chimney usually fits right over it. She'll be fired up in just a couple minutes. That's, but we're going to add some more hot charcoal. Now, quickly take it, put it over the hot coals, but keep your eye on it. We just want it to crisp enough on the outside. Dynamite sticks looking done. Let's take them off. Check those out. Cut it down the middle. See how it looks. Nice. <laughs> now that the dynamite sticks are all done, you can just take it, cut it small slices, serve it just like that. Mm. Try melting a little cheese on the top too. Serve them up like this. It's delish. Dynamite sticks all done and looking great. It's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try. Mmm. That's good.